naman. Mm. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ma, I'm gonna go now. Ano? Where are you going? I have to go to church. Fellowship again? Look at her house. We haven't even cleaned yet. Ma, uh, but this is really important. Church, church, everyday church. That's all you do. Where do you live? So church? Ma, but I have to go now. Sing it, you go. And don't come back.
Alright guys, let's open our Bible in Ephesians 5 verse 7. And um, can I ask Dodong to start us with verse 7? Yeah. Therefore, do not be partners with them. For once you were full of darkness, but now you have light from the Lord, so live as people of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Uh, thank you for reading, guys, but what does it mean to be the light? It means sometimes you read this passage so complicated, but it's pretty simple. Being the light is you being Christ-like, you being Jesus in this world. Jesus is right now sitting in the right hand of the Father, but who's going to bring the name of Jesus? It's you and me. So whenever you get out from this fellowship right now, the question mark is, what are you going to show to the world? Are you going to expose the light of sin, or are you going to expose the light of love through Jesus Christ? So live your li life in the light by showing Christ in your life. Amen? Praise God, guys, and thank you so much for coming, and I hope you have a blessed day, and show Jesus. Amen? Amen. 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 What's up with you? I thought you were going to church church. Well, yeah. What are you going to do here? I don't know. I'm just walking around. Be like, ooh, ah, yeah, ooh. My life be like, I've been texting you all day. I don't know. Everything seems to be just going downhill. How do you keep up with your relationship with your parents? Okay, first of all, take off that image in your head that we're the perfect family because we're not. We have our fights as well, but we just don't let the anger consume us. We learn to forgive each other and understand each other. Like before, me and my mom we used to fight so much, but now 
we we understand each other because we we sit down and talk. What do you mean? Like now, me and my mom both sit at the dinner table to see where we both went wrong. We listen to each other and see where we both made our mistakes. Cause before we didn't communicate at all, and that's where we went wrong. Cause we didn't know what each other thought and how they all felt. So what do I do now? That's true, Nicole. Me and Savannah really tried to fix things. We made the effort to talk to each other, to, to communicate. And also in the Bible, the Bible, it says that a gentle answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stirs up anger. So it's really important that when you talk to your mom, you talk to her properly. So what do I do now, Tita? Well, as a mom, Nix, you know, there might be some things that I say that I don't mean it and she's probably really worried where you are right now and also just to remember as a Christian you need to show her the love of Jesus and you need to let your light shine and um, also first of all you need to be a blessing to your family then you can be a blessing to your church okay so let's pray